Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate Razorpay webhook. In our previous video, we did watch the how to integrate Razorpay payment gateway using JavaScript and PHP. In this video, we will continue the same with the SQL and the webhook implementation. I recommend you to watch that video, but it is not mandatory. A link for our previous video is available in i button and in the video description. Please watch that video if necessary. Here in my hosting folder, I am creating a file rashook.php and inside that file, I echo thank you for posting data. It will set my HTTP status to 200. Now let's copy this URL and create webhook in a Razorpay account. Click settings in your Razorpay dashboard, then click webhook, then click add webhook. Here I am pasting the copied URL and uh, applies the necessary changes. Then uh, type a secret, it can be anything. I am just uh, simply type 1, 2, 3. Uh, it is for video tutorial, you should keep your secret uh, slightly stronger. Then uh, select events, I am selecting only payment failed and captured. Other events are unnecessary. In case of necessary, you can uh, click those things. Now click a create webhook. Sorry friends, it's HTTPS. Uh, let's uh, go back to our hosting folder. Here I am doing some necessary changes in our index.html. I supposed to do this in our previous video, but it is not too late. Here I am removing these unnecessary alerts supplied by Razorpay source JavaScript on single alert payment failed that is more than sufficient. Alert for successful payment also not necessary. I am going to add a callback URL for a successful payment. It is not relevant to our webhook tutorial but please let me do it. It will not take too much time. Here I am writing only one line. Thank you for the payment. Now I am in our rashook.php. Here we are going to write our script for webhook. In webhook documentation page of Razorpay, it clearly says they will send Razorpay signature in header and uh, payload as JSON file. Now let's write our code for collecting these information in our backend. Dollar data is equal to file underscore get contents, then PHP input. This will receive any posted payload in JSON format. Then dollar headers is equal to get all headers. The output will be a PHP standard class object. So I am going to convert it as JSON and save both data and header as JSON files. File name one is equal to date, year, month, day, hour, minute and a second. Then I add body.json. Then file name two it will become header.json. Let's save this data in file names. File underscore put contents webhook slash file name one comma data. So the data will be saved as a file name one and the headers will be saved as file name two. Now we can create our specified folder webhooks. And most importantly, Razorpay webhook will not work on test mode. So you have to change your key ID to live mode. Now let's try the payment. It is not necessary to pay. I am going to make a, a failed transaction. We will also receive a webhook for failed transaction. So no issues. Now 
let's see what we are getting from razor pay this is what we are getting in the body and this is what we are getting in the header here we have something called a razor pay signature and this signature needs to be verified before saving the data in our database but first we should create our database then only we can verify and save the data now let's open our php my admin here i am creating a new table ras payments and i am adding five more columns totally we have nine columns first one is id it is an integer i am allocating 12 characters it will be auto incremented and primary then name varco 299 characters email also varker 299 mobile varker 15 order id varker 64 reference id varker 64 payment id also varker 64 payment status varker 24 then uh, remarks varker 299 let's save this now our database is ready and we can write our code for database entry and webhook implementation. Here I am creating a file connect.php. In this file we are going to write our connection script for SQL. First I am going to declare four variables $host, $user, $password, $db name. then dollar connection is equal to new mysqli dollar host dollar host equal to local host it will be same for almost every service provider most of the service provider keeps their host name as local host then dollar user dollar password and dollar db name this will return an array if connection array have a name value pair with connect underscore error then we will echo the connection error then exit now our connection.php is ready to connect i filled my username and password but i cannot show that in front of screen now I am going to open our orders.php. This file was created in our previous video. Here in this file, we will receive data using Ajax and we will return an order ID to index.html. Then we will process the payment using JavaScript. Here I am adding one more field $mobile equal to $get mobile. Then reference ID equal to a random number generated using date and time then receipt is equal to ktt underscore reference id here ktt means Kevin's tech tube you can make your own receipt now i am removing this notes section because in our case it is not necessary you can add so many things such as product id coupon and these informations will come back along with your book and you can verify those things before updating your payment status now in our index.html I am going to add mobile number along with name and email in our Ajax request. This file is also created in our previous video. If you are new to PHP or JavaScript programming then please watch my previous video for better understanding. Now in our orders.php we are going to write our SQL data entry script. First uh, include connect.php we already created this file then dollar data entry is equal to insert into then i am copying the table name from uh, php my admin uh, then i am copying all the column names except id then add comma next to each columns name email mobile order id reference id payment id payment status then finally remarks then values needs to be lined up with a single quote and comma name dollar name email dollar email 
mobile dollar mobile reference id dollar reference id then uh, payment id not paid payment status also not paid i keep the remarks blank i think i missed something yes order id is missing order id equal to dollar order id now if connection query dollar data entry if this is uh, true then echo order id else echo data entry failed now we can test our code we are getting a error message the id provided does not exist okay let's check what went wrong here in our database data entry is completed so the problem is not with the sql let's check our code we are using live key id in both index and backend so no issues then we forgot to remove this comma while removing nodes in the json okay we are done now we can test our code again okay it is running let's check our database we got our order id saved in our database now on a successful payment this payment status and payment id need to be updated here i am in our rashook.php i am going to calculate and verify the razor pay signature we should not update our payment status without verification otherwise anyone can post a fake data and make sales records in our database so dollar calculated is equal to hash underscore hmac then uh, method sha256 then dollar data and dollar secret in our case dollar secret is one two three I hope you do remember what we did in the beginning of our video. It is the same secret key we used while set up our webhook in Razorpay website. Now let's get the received Razorpay signature from the header section. Here I am copying the signature name from previously received data. Dollar received equal to I wrap X razor pay signature with the headers array and uh, we should not uh, JSON encode this variable so I am renaming this uh, JSON encoded variable if calculated equal to received then uh, we have to update our database here uh, I include connect.php then uh, dollar data entry is equal to update then I am copying the table name and uh, column names from our orders.php. Update razor payments set payment id equal to dollar payment id comma payment status equal to dollar payment status where order id equal to order id. Now I can delete this copied text. If connection query dollar data entry if this is true then echo data updated else data update failed we can do the same for the else statement of a signature calculation but in payment status we will write signature failed and in our remarks we will write the file name for further investigation now we should declare these variables these details are available inside our dollar data but uh, this data is in json format let's decode it dollar data is equal to json underscore decode dollar data 
then uh, payment id is equal to dollar data inside data we have payload inside payload we have payment inside payment we have entity inside entity we have id i copied uh, the same for uh, payment status and uh, replace id with the status the same can be copied for order id and the status can be replaced with order id our webhook integration is ready now we can test our code let's make a failed transaction and uh, test it in our backend here you can see our payment status and payment id is updated our code is not completed so please watch this till the end uh, now we should write our code for avoiding false webhook now you can ask what is false webhook let me explain with the example you are trying to pay with upi and uh, let's assume now you are scanning with the paytm and it is failed let's assume as the server is down so paytm is not sending failed transaction message to razor pay because their server is down so they cannot send failed transaction message now you are paying with gpay with the same qr code now gpay will send a success message and let's assume your database is updated as a payment captured but within few minutes paytm sends a failed transaction webhook now you will receive a failed transaction webhook after a successful payment it rarely happens but it happens we should ignore this type of webhook post otherwise your successful payment will get marked as a failed in your database let's write our code for ignore everything after the payment captured first i am going to take this connected php out of if statement it will be common for all the sql queries so it will stay out of if statement now dollar sql is equal to select star that means select all from razor payments where order id equal to dollar order id and payment status is equal to captured then uh, dollar result equal to mysqli underscore query then dollar connection comma dollar sql now we can get a number of results dollar num is equal to mysqli underscore num underscore rows it will return the number of rows if dollar num is greater than 0 then simply exit now we can save and test our code here i am initiating payment and manually i am going to update our payment as captured if this transaction failed then our database will not get updated now we can test this it is failed and we received a notification in the front end and in the back end it is not updated now we can make one more failed transaction for testing purpose it is working and updated in our database now our razor pay webhook implementation with sql is successfully completed Thank you for watching this video, hit like and leave your feedback in the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.